afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to your girl's channel. It is me, Chloe Yasmeen, and my boy, Jordan, back in the cut with another video. And in today's video, Jordan and I are going to be going on like a weird date. Our date today is going to be a hygiene shopping date. We actually both enjoy smelling good and going hygiene shopping. So today we are going to go out. I mean, we're actually at the store right now. We're going to go into the grocery store and we are going to go to the hygiene section and we are going to find all kinds of cool goodies that we're going to share. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wanna be at my house all the time. Sharing is caring. Right. That's crazy because when I used to have like a good snack or like mm -hmm. something cute, my niece would be like, Yeah, that's cool. Sharing is caring and caring <laughs> is fun. Trying to make you feel bad about Dude, it. <laughs> I'd be like, Right, no. We're gonna go and we're gonna buy hygiene products, but this time we're gonna buy hygiene products that we can both share because this man always wanna be at my house. So I do allow him to sleep on my couch a lot of the time, and I have two separate showers, so he showers at my house and. All of the extras. So, I think it would be dope if we bought products to share since you're mm -hmm. always at my house anyway. I'll be using up all your hygiene stuff. I let him, I let you. I go in her closet. Right, okay. We're going in there and right I now. Because <laughs> if I find out, <laughs> you ain't allowed back. So, yeah. That's the difference with today's video is that the last hygiene shopping thing we did, it wasn't sharing. Like, we bought our own separate products. And this time, we're going to, like, buy products that we're going to share together and that we're both going to agree on. So, I think that'll be super fun. But I'm sure you guys are wondering, girl, like, what's on your face right now? Like, what are you doing? Like, girl, you don't wear makeup. And I even told y'all, like, I don't wear makeup because I'm the type of girl. There's absolutely nothing wrong with makeup unless you believe that the makeup is your beauty and you're ugly without it that is absolutely not true but yeah like girl you don't wear makeup like what the heck is on your face so i'm gonna be real like um honest like honestly for the past year i feel like my acne has not bothered me that much i feel like i've been doing so much better with like loving myself and loving how I look and being confident in myself and in my acne and I think part of the reason is Jordan you know being in my life and just always typing me up and I never have to feel any kind of way about my acne like he just he always makes me feel so beautiful but as of lately my forehead has been breaking out like crazy and I haven't had to deal with forehead acne in a very long time and I just it it has been bothering me very very bad so to make sure that I'm not getting emotional and like like crying off my little BB cream in my color correcting cream I'm just gonna keep talking I was supposed to go out the other day and film with my mom and we're still gonna do the video and stuff like that but I just washed my face and I I didn't really want to be seen and I, so I told her I was like I don't think it's gonna work out because like I don't want to take my stress and my like insecurities out on anybody and like it was just like so like an emotional moment like I couldn't say it without not crying so I just broke down and cried I just told her like I'm just I'm struggling right now with like my acne and just like feeling confident like the longer you have acne like the more it really just like deteriorates your confidence you get like extreme social anxiety depression and anxiety is increased and so my mom called me later on that day and it was crazy because like the lord was talking to me about it earlier that day but we wanted to go ahead and see if maybe i'll feel better if i try like some cover-up like some color correcting cream and some bb cream so we went out the next day and we bought some like little color correcting stuff for my face so i'm using the kika pear color correcting cream and then i'm also using dr jart's bb cream and it's like skincare and bb cream so it's actually like really cool but as i was in the store i know a little bit about makeup because I used to do like a little bit of makeup until I noticed that when I took it off I was insecure then I was like oh my gosh I don't even love myself anymore I had to stop wearing it I just knew that my face would look weird if I just put like the cover up on so I was like let me get a brow brush that I used to use way back in the day if y'all know in the beginning of my channel I used to do my little eyebrows y'all can look back to like my old videos and y'all can see how I used to like draw all my eyebrows sometimes they look really bad but I feel like mine don't look like that bad anymore I don't know. So I bought a brow pencil and then I also um, am using a lip color from one of my subscribers that she sent me by K Nicole Cosmetics and I tried it out yesterday and I just literally like felt the best that I've felt in so long and I feel the same way today like I just feel so much more confident I feel like I can actually look people in the face and it actually lets me know that my skin isn't as bad as I feel that it is or that I kind of see that it is because my skin is smoother than I think but the scars make my skin just look so i need to stop knocking myself but it kind of makes me feel better because i'm just like my skin is actually like pretty smooth it's just 
really scarred my forehead is pretty textured and stuff like that so I did get like a powder to like mattify it so that it's not like shiny and like you can see all the little bumps but anyways I'm rambling so that is what's on my face today y'all that is what is on my face and I don't know how to do makeup so this is you know what it's looking like right now I actually do have some plans coming up with a dermatologist and I do really believe that what we're getting ready to do is going to attack my acne and I believe that it is well I know it's going to improve my acne. I don't know if it's going to completely clear my acne, but I know that it's going to uh, I beat the NG's name, but it ain't going to increase it. It's going to improve it by far. So I have those plans coming up, which I'm very excited about. But until then, I'm going to be wearing like a little bit of BB cream and color correcting cream on my face just to be able to even give eye contact to people and not feel ugly and things like that. Because I mean, you don't know how like acne feels until you have it. And it's one of the worst feelings in life. So anyway girl that is what me and my baby are gonna be doing today we're gonna go and have a hygiene shopping day and i have some new nails on look at these cute nails you guys i'm gonna go ahead and link the shop down below she be slaying my nails the only thing is her shipping's kind of slow but her nails are so cute and these are in the shape active so oh my gosh y'all look at these super cute nails girl we're popping i love short nails and he's he prefers short nails on me too yeah i love them they're my favorite ones out of all the ones you get mm -hmm. i just started my menstrual cycle today y'all and i keep having him like check the back of my pants because I'm like um can you see the outline of my pad like I'm so embarrassed like I don't want anybody like seeing the outline of my pad and it shouldn't even be embarrassing because it's such a normal thing that like women have like what's the big deal but anyway do y'all think I did good on my makeup I don't know about like what I call it makeup I think the eyebrows would be considered makeup but like the actual BB cream and like the color corrected cream I don't know I wanted to share a scripture before I go ahead and head in here though and it is mark 419 and it says but the worries of this life the deceitfulness of wealth and the desires for other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. And when I tell y'all this is so much facts, but the worries of this life, worrying about the worldly things, the deceitfulness of wealth, thinking that if we have money, all of our problems will go away, trying to get rich fast, and the desires for other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. That right there told me that what the devil and his demons do, once we receive the word of God, read the word of God, hear the word of God, is they try to flood us with worries, try to get us to think about money and the desires of worldly things. And it just chokes out the word of God. It just literally flushes it all out, making it so that it's not fruitful, making it so that it's ineffective. The word of God gives us faith. It gives us power. So of course, they're going to use exactly what they know could choke it out and get rid of it to make us powerless and it's like no wonder when I get done reading the word of God these demons be trying to whisper in my ear like oh you didn't read enough oh you didn't really do anything or try to instill worry and fear about things that may be going on in my life that the Lord Jesus Christ is going to take care of but make it seem as though I'm the person that has to take care of it which in effect worries me you know things like that worries us so that just means when we hear the word of God and we receive the word of God we have to be prepared to fight off evil and negative thoughts. We don't have to think every thought that they try to hand to us. We don't have to ponder on that because what we ponder on and what we think, we move towards and it comes out in our life. And the best way to handle those kind of thoughts, the worried-filled thoughts, the fear-filled thoughts, the anxiety-filled thoughts, the depressive thoughts is pray and choose to believe that Christ Jesus has already taken care of it. We may not see it, but we don't walk by sight, we walk by faith. We walk by faith, not by sight. And that's why Jesus tells us to be apart from the world. Because how the world tells you to live life will have you with so many health problems and shakes at nighttime, sleepless nights, etc., etc. We have to believe that our Father is taking care of those things. We play a role, He plays a role. And He plays the big role. Jesus Christ is going to take care of you. Jesus Christ is here for you. He loves you. I also have been noticing that the world really has a bad understanding of who and how Christ really is. Because Christ is not a petty God. He may be a jealous God when it comes down to you prioritizing something else above him. That he's like, ah, get that out the way, oh no. But he's not a petty God. He's a very loving and forgiving God, which is, I feel like one of the main things a lot of people have a misperception of is that he's not forgiving as he is. So when they make a mistake and they ask for forgiveness, they don't receive it. They don't believe it, that he has forgiven them. Mm -hmm. 
the problem is that you haven't forgiven yourself. And when you, when you are not forgiving yourself, you feel bad about yourself. You feel guilty. You feel shameful. And that means that you don't have a good relationship with yourself. And, and, and a good relationship with yourself is, 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 is extremely important. Receive his forgiveness and believe that you are forgiven when you ask for forgiveness because he forgives you. And he remembers your sin no more. And we just keep trying and we keep working towards the end goal. Which the devil will try to make us distracted. You know, he, he tries to get us, get us to forget the end goal when that's motivation i've noticed a lot of the times like i start to get you know annoyed and tired and i'm like what am i doing all this for and the lord is like mm, remember the end goal don't give up on that dream because that's why you're doing it you're going through right now i understand that but you are on a journey to that end goal i know sometimes i just be rambling y'all but like all i know is that there are times when i need to hear exactly what i'm saying right now so i know that there's somebody out there that needs to hear exactly what i'm saying right now Jesus loves you and you are forgiven. You need to forgive yourself because when you don't forgive yourself and you feel guilty and shameful, it just makes you do more of the bad. When we're trying to stop doing something bad and we're trying to get rid of something bad in our life, we shouldn't focus on not doing the bad. We should focus on doing more good and creating better habits than focusing on stopping the bad habits. We should focus on producing more good habits and working towards better habits because what our mind is pondering on we move towards so if we're constantly thinking about the bad things we did and trying to get trying to stop doing that honestly eventually we end up falling back into it let's just try to think about the good habits that we can produce that'll keep us away from that and the longer you do those things it becomes a true habit and i really hope that makes sense because it helps me a lot when i'm trying to work and stop doing something in my life that i'm struggling with and i, and I know that the lord jesus christ not, does not approve of it now what i do is i just try to do more of the good and focus on more of the good that can push out the bad like for an example i shouldn't be eating that candy but you constantly like i shouldn't eat that candy i shouldn't eat that candy just focus on how you shouldn't eat that candy how about we focus on trying to eat something yummy that's good and just continue to work towards figuring out what's good out there what's what's yummy out there instead of focusing so much on what we can't have let's focus on what we can do and create those habits so yeah that's my little ramble of the day jesus loves you you are forgiven i need you to forgive yourself because jesus really does love you he really like literally just has the best interest at heart for you. He wouldn't have died on the cross for you if he didn't love you so much. He knows you by your name. He knew you in the womb. He knew you before he was in your mama's womb. So with that being said, let's get up in the store and go get some hygiene products. Let's go do it. You know, I have to do my little rambling. <laughs> let's go, babe. Let's do it. Cut scene, cut scene. I also wanted to go ahead and give one more, you know, word of encouragement is that you're not doing as bad as you think you're doing. You are doing so much better than you actually think you're doing. So just keep pushing, girl, and keep pushing towards the positive and, and, and the good things that are in your life and, and be grateful and thankful because a thankful heart is a cheerful, cheerful heart, okay? So yeah, it just, when you're thankful and you're grateful and you understand who Jesus really is and how he really is, it makes you just want to serve him that much more. Okay, so we just arrived to the first aisle and I'm thinking the best way to go is to grab like one of each product we're going to need. So like one bar soap, one body wash, one body scrub if y'all are gonna kind of get in the memo. So I think we should first start out with trying to figure out what bar soap we're gonna get. And they have a lot to choose from. And I'm kind of seeing two different ones I want. So it's kind of getting a little hard already. So I basically always have a different favorite. Right now my favorite is the gentle exfoliating one. So this would be my top fave right now because the scent is just so powerful but i have like a whole pack at the house right now so i don't yeah. technically need it the pink one is absolutely like exquisite as well as we already know the cucumber one is like crazy but i'm thinking since i've never had this one which is kind of crazy because i've had like every single bar soap except for the one i don't like this rejuvenating dove bar soap because it's the same scent as this Dove body wash. It's a very fruity, pomegranate kind of smell. And it's strong. It's like summer-like, but I want the bar soap because I never had it. I'm down for that because based off how it looks, it looks like it smells good. It's like not it. about me, so let me just stop. Oh, that does smell it good, It does though. smell good. Whoa, yes, so I like, like that. What if we got this <laughs> and you like the shea butter one. I do. And then we got like a little shea butter one. But it says Dove um buy one and get one so like if we buy oh buy two and get one it's like if we buy two <laughs> you're trying to stock up oh my gosh i honestly don't feel like this is the best way to go because i feel like it would be better if we got just three of the little packs but they don't have a little pack and the rejuvenating one that i want we're gonna have to find like certain bar soaps that have the little ones 
I trust you with it because I haven't tried a lot of them. Okay, to get a better deal, we're gonna get mm -hmm. one shea butter and we can both get one out of here. I've never had an antibacterial one, so we'll grab an antibacterial one. Okay. And then... Oh my gosh, the dance moves. Ew, I don't like that one. Wait, you just tried to like guess and point at which one? <laughs> I don't like that one either. They don't even stress. have a little one. Okay, this is the last one I want to do it. What the? Hold on. <laughs> you ain't even going to show me which one you got. <laughs> I really don't need to get another pack because I already have a good amount at the house. So, <laughs> I love it. I go through like two of those a week. And I've been using it for like the past month and I love it. Two a week? Dang, I used to make my stuff last. I guess I didn't really clean that well though. Expose yourself, please do. Listen, I use exfoliating gloves, so it does make a little bit of a difference because it like really just gets rid of it. But my very first Dove bar soap was the gentle exfoliating one and I had to beg my dad for it. And my brothers were mad and he was like, you gotta understand, she's a girl and she needs like certain things and he, he just can't have it. So, <laughs> came back the next weekend, he used all my bar soap. What? We forgot to get uh, body wash. But they got body wash everywhere. They got body wash from there all the way down there. So. Facts. Body wash takes up the whole aisle pretty much. So I'm thinking, do you want to go for like something new that we never tried or stick with what we know? Like Dove. I think we should try some new stuff. I like new. Okay, I like new. Everything new, new, new. Exactly. That's what I was thinking Everything too. New. She be reading my mind. No, that's not true. Yeah, so that's the thing. Anything sticking out to you? I'm gonna record you because Mr. Man ain't picking nothing out. It's and I wanna see what man. you would want to get. But you're gonna hate on me for whatever I pick. I'm gonna hate on you? Let's see, I'm gonna love whatever you pick. I think Bro, that's garbage! <laughs> I'm just playing. Even I don't even know what that is. Even if it was good, I would've said it was garbage. Man, I was so excited when I first seen this baby bar, but like when you use it, it doesn't smell like anything. Like. It doesn't smell like anything, and I love that scent. Is there a certain type of thing I should be looking for? Like, if they put certain things inside some body washes that I should be looking out for? Or? No, but like, okay. since the weather's getting like a little colder, I would say we should try something that is gonna moisturize our skin. Moisturize? Yeah, that's what I would say. Let me just do the work, because I ain't got time for Honestly, you. play on me. I don't know what I'm talking about. You really don't. I really do. I'm trying to waste our time. Right. <laughs> Never seen this before. Caress jasmine and lavender oil. Oh, girl. You know, I haven't had caress in a minute. I don't think I've ever tried Caress. The regular Caress. This used to be my junk. I got a whole Caress. When I first started my YouTube channel, I had a whole Caress review. I was like 14. I was like, hi guys. So today I'm reviewing Caress body washes. <laughs> and basically they're the best ever. This looks good. It smells good too. This Nivea pampering body wash and the scent coconut and almond milk. That smells so good. We should get this one. With nourishing serum. Nourishing. It nourishes us. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Should we just get one or should we try to like go for two? I think we should probably do two. Five? That's not, okay. Yeah, I mean, let's get five then. <laughs> I'ma bust your bow, I'm not playing. I was trying to grab. Listen, I just feel like if people are mad that like I buy a lot of products, there could be so many worse things I could be spending my money on. Facts. Let me fix these. Just so nobody think I left them. What you saying over there, girl? Recording me. Yo, the tell fit. them. Hold on. No, tell no, no, no. them how much I have been. Ooh. What's up? I was so mad when they changed the scent of the gentle exfoliating body wash. It used to smell exactly like the bar soap. Now this smells like grass. Like grass? Fresh cut grass? That used to be my favorite body wash in life. Really? They changed it and it doesn't even smell the same. If you knew what the bar soap smelled like, you would be oh, really? like, yeah, you would be like, what did they do that and why do they do that for? Really? I actually like this smell, but. Okay, you're done for. So I'm not shopping with him no more because he thought that was good and it's garbage. So I'm trying to figure out like what's actually going to be good. We don't never use Olay, do we? No. It's because they all smell the same to me. It's Dove or nothing, girl. No, this is kind of good. What? This coconut oil one. That smells like summertime. It does smell good. I actually like that. I think we should get that one. I really do like that. I enjoy the scent. All right. Maybe so, we can do like that. I'm taking both of them. <laughs> Wait. Y'all ever watch Friday? Coconut. You ever watch Friday? It could be both ours. It could be both ours. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Bio oil came out with body lotion. Okay, this is not like something we're going to share. It's something I want to have personally. No, I think we should. Put the camera down. There's so many people in this aisle. Dude. One time I bought this body lotion, swear to gosh. I don't know if it's the same, but one time I bought this body lotion, I got to moisturizing it, flakes were all over my skin. What? 
It doesn't even moisturize, it just flakes on your skin. And it smells so good. Lotion. What are we gonna do lotion-wise, buddy? Should I let him pick this lotion or not? Yes. One of your favorite lotions on me is this one, this hydrating coconut. But we're gonna try something new today. So I'm gonna let him pick out the lotion that we're gonna use. Ooh, they got Olay. Maybe I don't want you to pick Olay, Olay. Let's smell it. And I want you to smell all of them and figure out which one you like the most. Okay. Sometimes I'm like too controlling because I just be like, I wanna do it. I like my nourishing. If I don't do it, it don't get done. I like this smell. That smells really good to oh me. Oh my gosh, it does. Really okay. Okay, this is up there already. Is there any like, do they say any scents? Shea butter, vitamin E, hyaluronic? No. Uh -uh. Okay, let's try the shea butter. Right. I feel like I should be using lotions like that though because with all the tanning I did for so many years, it really ruined the health of my skin. So where like my skin can bruise and cut easily. Mm -hmm. Ew, what does that smell like? I'm not really a fan of that one. Yeah, I like it kind you of. Do? Yeah, I feel like it would go with my chemistry so well, but this is for both of us, so. <laughs> this is for both of us. What, it's, it, it's exactly. both of us. It's, I love you. It's both ours. You're my second bestie in the world. I love you too. Your mom is number one. Mm-hmm, can't nobody top that. This smells good too, but I still like the one I have. I kind of like that one. This one the best so Dude, far? Dude, okay, let me look at what these benefits do though. Okay. This one, tone, evening, and hydrating. Ooh, recovery. I need that. Is that all of them? These are the last two right here. Okay, so, so this one is the collagen? Firming and hydrating. Yep, collagen. Okay. I like majority of these. I don't like oh, that. Oh, you got Ew. some on your nose. You don't? <gasps> my nose. I, I just, just like wiped that. off my makeup. Oh, no. I'm never smelling anything ever again. Ever again. I think the makeup just came off my nose. I wiped it all off. Dude, we gotta get out of here fast. Let's get this shopping done right now. Right now! <laughs> okay, which one did we pick? We're gonna go with the one that you liked the most. What? What's going on? That's why I don't wear makeup. See, see. You know my favorite hemp lotion is this one? This one smells so good. If you girls wanna know what my top fave hemp lotion that lasts the longest on my skin is this, and I used to get them for free. See, why didn't nobody tell me I had freaking BB cream lines on my eyes? Never again. And if you guys have tips on how to like put it on your eyes without it like becoming like a weird line, please let a girl know because I'm struggling. For my free. tanning salon, my tanning salon, when, you know, the little pandemic happened, the owner of the tanning salon gave us $70 in money just to buy whatever we wanted. Because he was like, people are struggling and I want to help my girls out. So I was able to get $70 worth of stuff. And this was like $20 there, of course. So I would get so much stuff in a month. That's so cool. God bless him. Yes. Um, but no, because you're making people's hand and it's not, I'm just playing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but what is this random bottle? Body lotion. What does this smell Why like? Why is it dirty? I don't know. That smells like cologne. We don't want that. I like this cherry almond right here. I used to use this. I love that oh lotion. Oh my gosh. But I think I have it at the house. Which one did we get? You do. We got this one? Uh, this Why one did right you here. let me pick? Because I really like the smell of that ah, as well. Ah, he picked so, it. Yeah, this is my favorite smell, but I'd rather go with something that smells good to me and that you love. That would work better for me. Yeah. Okay, cool. But you like the, uh, so we're going to basically get two of everything. We got to work together. But we're going to share it. Yeah. So you wanted to get cherry almond? I kind of do, just do? because I love that smell. This is crazy because I actually have a story. He used to try to like make conversations with me back in the day. I didn't want to talk to him. What? But he tried to get into hygiene because he knew that I was really big into smelling good and hygiene. <laughs> and so like, this was like right before we were getting ready to talk. Probably like two months before. And he mm -hmm. came up to me and was like, yeah, like, I bought this like cherry lotion. It smells so good. And I knew exactly what he was talking about. And I just didn't care to like, and I was like, yeah, that's good. He was like, and thought I was about to say, yeah, it's really good. And he was like, okay, it's good. And I was like, oh, I'm telling y'all sure that's how it went? It is how it went. I never gave you like any kind of like flirty attention. We barely like, it was nothing like We didn't that. really talk. No, we didn't. And it was because of me. We got a, a new Aveeno lotion. Renewing night cream. Hold on. This exfoliates? <laughs> smell like vinegar. Ew. I you like that. You smell like a pickle. And you can smell like a pickle. Okay, what lotion? Great. Okay, so we're going to get a small bottle. Y'all, I thought I was going to have to walk all the way to the... Uh, tissue section because we go through flushable wipes real fast and my favorite are the cotton nail ones but girl cotton nail wipes are the bomb we gotta have our flushable wipes i'll give you two and i got two i basically gave him my guest bathroom because nobody uses it i never really have company and my mom when she comes over she uses my bathroom so i basically mm -hmm. gave him my guest bath you need a curling iron girl if you're trying to get me right then by all means Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> why does this smell good and i don't even like lemon stuff what is that? Candied lemon. I'm iffy about that. Let Let's smell, smell it again. I don't know. I don't know what, even what to say. Hey, stop it right now. Honestly, the thing with like tree hut body scrubs is that I can't use them like all over my body. I can only use them on the places that are not acne prone, which is like my legs and stuff like that. So like the bottom half, but the, the upper half, I yeah. 
ruined it up here. The upper half I cannot because I'll break out. Like, tree hut's not really good for acne prone skin. We're gonna go ahead and grab two of these exfoliating stretch cloths. Cause girl, I ain't sharing my washcloth with nobody. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of these exfoliating stretch cloths. Stretch cloths. Because instead of like a body scrub, um, this will last us way longer. We can wash it and put our body washes in it and exfoliate and cleanse at the same exact time. So we're gonna try these out. Okay, let's do it. I mean, I already know what they work like, so they're really good. I love like exfoliating gloves and exfoliating washcloths because they work so much better. Plus, they last way longer and you can put your soap in it. So it's like, you can have like a custom body scrub because like you can put whatever body wash or bar soap you want in there. So I think it's a good idea. But on to the next section because there's nothing else in there that we need. Let's look for some deodorants and like some razors and stuff like that. Jordan and I always share deodorants. So we're going to go ahead and look for a deodorant that we can agree on. And I'm going to show you all the trick on how we can smell deodorants without messing up the actual deodorant so the store don't get mad or so we don't have to buy it shall i say okay so i'm gonna go ahead and smell the clean one my top favorite deodorants right now are the degree advanced 72 hour um deodorants that just came out so they haven't always had these but they just came out with them and they're 72 hours my mom put me onto these and when i tell y'all they work so amazing so if you're struggling with underarm odor these would be the best way to go because they're men's and they last 72 hours which is like the longest any deodorant would say so how to get it up is you just twist it up take the cap off it's perfect in great condition smell it i don't smell anything yeah that barely has a smell I don't smell anything so then you just twist it back down whoever gets to wear this deodorant chloe i've even touched that <laughs> <laughs> that's ugly <laughs> why would i say that cool rush mm, this one's pretty nice i like this one last one that was so annoying i like that too I like that. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna buy the Degree Cool Rush Antiperspirant. And you got this one back at your crib, don't you? Which one is it, the black and white one? I got, was it the black and white one? I yeah, but I didn't really like it like that. Yeah, you gave it to me. Yeah, I gave it to him. Cause I did not like it and it was like tanky. Okay, so I tank whenever I wear it. No, okay, so I'm not a big fan of like <laughs> plant smells and it, I kept smelling like a plant and I was like, what does that smell like I'm about to throw up? And I smelled my underarms and it was my underarms. Smell like bamboo or something. I don't know. I've never smelled bamboo in my life. So like, what if bamboo actually smells good? But when I <laughs> when I say bamboo, we used to have like sticks in our backyard, like in the woods, that look like bamboo. And when we broke them open, they smelled like plant. And <laughs> yes, I know what you're talking you about. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. That's what my underarm smell like. <laughs> not kidding. <gasps> Gotta get this. So we're probably not gonna share this. No, we are. No, we're not. So one of my top 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 fave spray deodorants and my mom as well is this powder soft i'm a sucker for powder scents powder soft advanced care deodorant girl i gotta get out of here the tip of my nose is red no it's not listen what does this one smell like how am i supposed to know what this smells like if i don't spray it just a little oh my gosh my makeup just came up <sighs> okay baby you're okay i'm embarrassed the tip of my nose it just keeps the makeup keeps coming off that's kind of good i did it again <laughs> I'm definitely not buying both of them though, so one gotta go. Since this one has my makeup on it, I guess I'll just buy this one. And I have like a little bit of this left at the house, so I'll go ahead and put this back. <laughs> this is so embarrassing, literally. Okay, so we got one deodorant for us, one just for me. Mm -hmm. And then razors. Do you even use razors? Moves. No. Okay. So you don't need razors and I wouldn't share a razor with anybody anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my refills because um, these, this is like the current razor I'm using. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, but I'm thinking like, I feel like this could work for like any replacement. So I'm trying to figure out, I feel like I could use any of these to go on my razor. I just see some of them say there's more blades in them. In it? This has, oh, oh wait, I see the, what you're saying. Three blades and that has five blades. So the only one that has five blades as well is the sugar berry one, which would make sense because this has the same handle as the Comfort Glide coconut. Mm -hmm. Ah, smart. So you did find that. That was smart. So I'll grab sugar berry Ole razors. These work very good for my legs. And your girl needs some pads. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out some cheaper ones this time. And they actually have these buy one, get one 30% off. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two boxes and they're only $6.69. I don't feel like this is gonna be a super big difference from the always ones that I always use. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two boxes of those. 
Man, I go through pads so fast. Like, not tampons or panty liners, but pads go by so fast, y'all. So I had to go ahead and pick them up. All right, girl, on to the next. Let's go look at some oral hygiene. And this is our go-to toothpaste. We always get the optic white. It's a little different every single time. We might get the sparkling white. We might get the icy fresh. We might get the stain prevention. It, honestly, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I don't really see a big difference, so. We're gonna go ahead and grab a pack of toothpaste. Mm, I'm spitting, oh my gosh. So you get one and I get one. This is my favorite toothpaste. And we go through a lot of toothpaste. Like I know you're not supposed to use that much toothpaste. You're supposed to use like a little pea size. I think you do that. Yeah. But I keep putting toothpaste on because my breath gotta be absolutely fresh the whole day. <laughs> and I have absolutely no breath problems, so. That's facts. Not insinuating that you do, but you know, you did. Whoa, okay. whoa. <laughs> Because I know some people be mad. They be like, you don't need to use that much toothpaste. Like, why do you use so much? Girl, I don't got no breath problems, no more. And this is what I started doing. So it helped. As well as Smart Mouth. We love Smart Mouth, y'all. We use Smart Mouth every single day, all day confidence. Yes, ma'am. I put you onto this, and yes. you know that this stuff works. Mm -hmm. I put my family onto it, and they have not turned back. I tried to put your brother onto it, but he didn't believe me. He said, I don't believe that work. I'm like, it, it works. I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell you. Because we had like a whole, okay. There was this one night, everybody was sitting around my car, and I don't know how like breath came up, but I was like, I'm the kind of person that I feel like if I'm this close to you, I don't need you to smell, I don't feel like you should be able to smell breath, you know? You know, maybe after a meal, maybe, but still. And everybody was like, kind of getting silent. And I'm like, we brought up the conversation, I'm just saying, if y'all got an issue, Smart Mouth would be the way to go. He was like, I don't really believe like, like it works all day. Smart Mouth sponsor. I try to put everybody on. I try to put everybody on that night. You know, people just got their feelings hurt. I actually do notice a difference too, though. Whenever I brush, go yeah. without it, and do yeah. it, it, it feels different, and you can just smell. And me being your girlfriend, I notice as well. <laughs> I'm not like, but you know. Yeah, I know what you're doing, girl. You don't have to explain nothing to me. <gasps> they changed the packaging. Oh my gosh, you guys! Please let your girl know if you want me to do a feminine hygiene shopping video soon, because I need to re up on all of my feminine care, shaving care, all for my feminine area. Let me know, cause I want to do that video very soon. Ooh, they got some good washcloths. I've never seen their washcloths or like used their washcloths, but theirs are good. Myers, we're at Myers right now, y'all, and I'm very picky with my washcloths. I do not like thick washcloths because they don't get soapy and they just don't clean me right. And I just don't feel like I have full control over them. I love to feel like I have control over my washcloth or whatever the heck I'm cleaning my body with. And these feel super thin, but also a little rough how I love them. My favorites right now are Walmart. It went from Walmart to Target, back to Walmart, because Target changed theirs, and they're like thicker and softer. I like mine thin and hard, because they work way better, and they get so much soapier, so I don't like to get dark washcloths, because they bleed. So, I think these would be the best way to go, because they're pretty light, and these feel really good. So we're gonna go ahead and split the pack, and we got washcloths, y'all, we got washcloths. Did I put you on the washcloths or no? I used to use washcloths when I was younger, younger? for a while. But what I about stopped. when we first met, what were you using? I wasn't using washcloths. A loofah? I, I thought a loofah was good, so I was using a loofah. Are you lying or did you use your hands? I mean, sometimes I did, but majority of the time I used a loofah. Oh. I heard they were bad for you, though. Loofahs like, are bad for you? I heard they trap, like, a lot of the Oh, yeah, the they're gross. In. They don't clean you, they don't help with body odor, and they just trap a bunch of bacteria. Oh, that's it? <laughs> milk tea boba day yes ma'am so for like to end off our date we got some boba milk tea i always get like a signature milk tea um which is literally just black tea and milk and like sugar but today i got a vanilla one because i don't mind it i always get the strawberry milk tea we had looked up it's one of the like least popular ones up there but it i is? like it wait yeah. i thought it was like a lot of people don't like it I don't like it. I think it's nasty. I think the strawberry milk tea is like one of the nastiest drinks ever. I, when I first tried it, like it wasn't bad, but I cannot stand it. And I feel like why he likes it is because it doesn't really taste like tea too much. Mm -hmm. He does not like tea. And I love the taste of milk tea. The first time I tried it, I'm going to enter the video. I got it on my phone. The first time we ever tried boba tea, it was me, my little brother, and Jordan. Ever since then, we've all been addicted. So I'm sorry, Brent. I didn't get you one. Uh, they're a little pricey. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I got you. But I'm gonna answer that video right now. Okay, you guys. So I'm trying boba milk Amazing. tea for the first time. I just lost my straw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, here it is. Guys, now, you guys want this? <laughs> yeah, I've seen a lot on the videos where you stab the ceiling of it. I'm scared. Ah! Okay, this is what it looks like. Mm, and I got the 
This is from Ding Tea and it's their signature tea and I'm really scared. Mm. Ah, that one looks good. That was good, guys. Mm -mm, but I'm scared because he doesn't like tea and it tastes like tea. Really? It's so good. <laughs> it hits. It, it like hits. milk with tea yeah. in it. Like, but you don't have this one, though. So that was our reaction to milk tea the first time we ever had it. And honestly, I really liked it. And then I hated it. And then I really loved it. And then I became addicted. Now, the problem is, is I've been having him go and get me one or two a day. I've become addicted in like the last week. <laughs> Just figured out they are full of caffeine. And I was looking up on Safari. I was like, why am I addicted to milk tea? And they're like, well, it's probably because it's caffeinated. It has lots of caffeine. It's not really good for you to have, you know, multiple a day. Not even like every day. If you drink coffee and other caffeinated drinks, these are also caffeinated. And we usually get them at nighttime. That's why I haven't been able to sleep. And that's why my brother hasn't been able to sleep. Yeah, that might be a little bad. What just happened? I put my nails on earlier, so I had a paper towel for the alcohol. It's so good! For real? I, I'm a little bit, like, back and forth with the boba, because sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, because I just be chewing and chewing and chewing. But it's, like, good, because it makes your drink. It's like you're eating your drink as well. That's facts. I feel like it adds that little extra. I really like the boba. Mm-hmm. Have you ever tried vanilla? No, I don't think so. You're going to love it. Okay, that's not bad. Mm. That's not bad. And the aftertaste. I really like, like, with these drinks... I like the aftertaste. Me too. So if we're ever like tired, we can mm -hmm. go get milk teas because they will boost us up because they're caffeinated. And it tastes so freaking good. Mm -hmm. It's not like no bitter coffee. Literally. So anyways, we are done with our hygiene shopping. Did you enjoy yourself? I really had fun. We got to go ahead and split up these products. I need to oil your scalp. We got to go ahead and split up these products because I feel like I should try one one day and the same day you try one. And then the next mm -hmm. day we, we kind of rotate the products. Yeah, that'll be a good way to like get a feel of them. Okay, cool. This is so good, you guys. So... Let's see who's gonna try which body wash. This is the Nivea one and this is the Olay one. Which one do you? I think you should pick the first one. What, did you get a, some on your nose again? On my face. Man, the devil is a liar, I'm telling y'all. Mm. When I tell y'all, these evil spirits be using anything. A bug flew in my house the other day, I'm cooking. It's late at night and I'm hungry. Bug flew in my house. I'm like, ugh, like get away from me. I'm swatting it, I'm swatting it, I'm swatting it. Fly straight into the pan. I did not eat that night. Are you laughing at me? No, I'm not looking at that. It's the, the annoying. It's just, it irritates me. I look into the pan. That thing is frying. I said, I'm not eating this. And I'm, I'm going to bed hungry. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. It's, it's annoying me the fact that the bug is flying around. Then out of all places, it wants right. to lie in a pan and then die. I'll just close my eyes and pick a random body wash. Binga, minga, minga, minga. Yeah. Olay. Okay, so I'm going to try the Olay tonight. He's going to do the Nivea. And then we both get two Cottonelle wipes. You get a toothpaste. I get a toothpaste. And then washcloths, we gotta split these up because... I call a color for ones. No, because there's I'm three of each color, so how are we gonna even figure it out? <laughs> okay, you get two of those, oh. two tan ones, two blue ones, two purple ones, oh. and wait! Alright, I'm good with it. No, no! Good, honestly. And two gray ones? I guess that's fine because I have more washcloths than you, so I'll just have these because I have more than what? you. Yeah, and then you get an exfoliating washcloth, and then we both get one of each out of these bar soaps. So you get one, and I want you to smell the gentle exfoliating one, because this is what the body wash used to smell like. So did they get heat for like changing how they smell or something, or? They got heat from me! I don't think nobody even noticed, but you know I am. Wow, that smells really nice. I'm talking like, I'm in heaven. This is what I expect a good bar soap to smell like. Facts. A smell like this. I wish they had a perfume in that. And like a cologne or Imagine. something because I prefer men to smell like a soap or laundry over cologne any day um but my favorite colognes for men are the Bath and Body Works ones because they're not strong I cannot stand strong cologne I can do strong perfume I can smell that all day unless it's like an old lady scent but strong cologne I just and there are certain perfumes I can't do strong either like Angel Nova by Terry Mugler. When I tell y'all I've worn it once, you can't see like any dent in it because it's so strong. I cannot. Like it's an intoxicating headache. And then this is the shea butter bar soap. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's nice. Bro, there's makeup going everywhere. Like I just smelled it. I gotta learn how to wear this stuff because y'all know I don't ever wear makeup. I got a big nose, so anything I smell, my nose is gonna touch. I love your nose. You little <laughs> nose. Oh I don't like the smell of the antibacterial soap, but it's antibacterial. And you know, antibacterial is usually drying, but it's dove, so it's not. Okay. So dove know what they're doing. Right. Okay. And then I this is like this is my deodorant. It's mine. I thought it was supposed to be a Sharon shopping trip. This is mine. This is mine. My razors. <laughs> um, the deodorant we're sharing. Smart mouth, we always share. He always comes into my bathroom and uses my smart mouth. Yoink. 
And then we gotta figure out who's gonna use what lotion. So which one okay. do you wanna use? I wanna let you try this one because you like that more. You like it more than the cherry almond one you picked out. Ooh. But smelling the cherry almond is bringing back like, memory. I love yeah, cherry so almond. I think I wanna use this one. Cherry almond is stronger than the Olay one. Cherry almond is like the OG. I really like that too though. But yeah, cherry almond is that one. This one's lighter than I thought. Okay, <laughs> another reason why I wanted to get this, I forgot to say. It has vitamin E in it. And um, I guess vitamin E is supposed to help with like thin skin and like damaged skin. So all over my body, I kind of need that because my skin, like I was looking up the other day, like why my skin cuts so easily it bruises so easily and it's because i did so much tanning and that's why i stay out of the sun you guys because i just want my i want my skin to get back to what it is what it was or even better and i never need to be doing any tanning again i love my skin color i'm confident in my skin color and i'm okay with who i am um but it's you know something like my grandpa it's a good example like my grandpa his skin when you get older your skin does get thinner but his is extremely thin and um, you can tell he's done so much damage to his skin from tanning so much. My grandpa, my dad, um, a certain sibling, and basically my whole entire dad side of the family are like tanners. And I got into it and I never want to do that again. It will damage your skin so bad. Do not do it. Whatever the heck, sunbathing, I do not suggest it. I'm telling y'all, it is not a good idea. You want a box of pads? Yeah, because your booty be leaking. Ew, that sounds so nasty. Ain't that leaky booty over there? <laughs> leaky booty. And then my bio oil body lotion, which I'm really excited about because I use bio oil. That's liquidy. <laughs> Ain't no scent. Wait, you smell something? No, I actually really don't. Bro, bio That's oil. That's actually like super light. Bio oil smells like baby powder and lavender to me. And I use it and it's really good. This? I really actually didn't smell anything like. What is this no bio thing. oil? Oh my gosh, it's water! It's water! Body lotion. Oh my... This is for... Oh, wait. Oh, so it's lathering like that? It's not lathering. It's actually... Whoa. Oh my gosh! What? Yo, try this. It's like oily. Like, it's like... Not, try that. It's actually good. It's moisturizing. So it looks like just straight water. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This might be an, an amazing invention. Because it doesn't smell like anything. Because... It seems to be pretty moisturizing, unless my legs are already moisturized. It seems to be pretty moisturizing, but it's thin and like watery, so it will distribute all over your body. I don't know. This might be good. They don't say anything about what it's supposed to do for your skin, but hey. I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan because feel my leg. I'm sorry about my hairy legs. I look like a caveman. Your legs are not hairy. I look like a caveman. So you already put them on both? No, I put it on my knee. Okay, so if I feel like right here and then. You can actually feel the difference. You can so. feel the difference. Yes. Yeah, you can. Yeah. That's really dope, though. It is really it dope. It really says nothing. Yeah. And coming up soon, him and I also need to go fragrance shopping because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't need, but I want new fragrances, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It's about that time. Right. So that concludes today's video. We went hygiene shopping, got a little mm -hmm. boba tea and a little haul, yes. a little talking. Yes, ma'am. Um, and I enjoyed myself. Did you? Yes, I really enjoy myself a lot. I always enjoy my time with you. And the fact that you got me into hygiene and I'm excited to go hygiene shopping is wild. Mm -hmm. I had fun. <laughs> so with that being said, we love every single one of you guys. God bless you all. In Jesus' name, and it's time for your girl and your boy to go. Your favorite couple. <laughs> <laughs>